हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रुद्रिका महेश पाखले एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर एट आई एस ए विजिट एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ आर पाइथन प्लेलिस्ट नाउ वी विल सी व्हाट आर वेरिएबल्स इन पाइथन सो वेरिएबल इज अ नेम गिवन टू मेमोरी लोकेशन नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल a is equal to 4 so here a acts as a container which stores value 4 and now you can access this number by just writing the letter a even you might have seen in your kitchen that we have different types of containers and vessels to store different type of food right like dal is stored some in some vessel then rice in some other vessel and salt in some another so similarly in python we have data types that is which uh, with it tells us which type of container it is now we will see what are rules of variables so variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character variable name cannot start with a number and variable names are case sensitive now let's see what are keywords so keywords are reserved words in python which should not be used as variables like for example def that is definition break class etc now we will see how to define variables so we'll write a is equal to 4 then i'll print a now i'll run this code and see we got the output 4 that is here a is the variable and 4 is the value assigned to that variable So now let's see what are data types in python so data types are classification or categorization of the data items now it represents the kind of value that tells what operation can be performed on a particular data so we have five different data types that is numeric dictionary boolean set and sequence type in numeric we have integer complex number float and in sequence type we have strings list and tuple so in python numeric data type represent the data which has numeric value numeric values can be integers floating numbers or even complex numbers so these values are defined as int float and complex class in python integers now it contains positive or negative whole numbers without fraction or decimal all numbers come under integer type in python there is no limit to how long an integer value can be now float so float is a real number with floating point representation it is specified by a decimal point complex numbers are represented by complex class it is uh, specified as real part plus imaginary part for example 2 plus 4j it's great to watch tutorials to learn coding but to truly own your programming proficiency you have to face challenges and showcase your coding skills the best way to do so is by participating in contests and exposing yourself to a larger community of programmers so we have got something for all you guys out there watching this episode an online coding contest by newton school which is an online coding boot camp founded by iit and iim alumni This contest is open for all the students from first to fourth year across all the colleges in India with zero registration fee. So, you get an opportunity to compete with India's top universities and experience coding challenges like never before. Winners will get cash prize up to rupees 30,000 along with a certificate. Top performers will even get a chance for an interview at top product companies and gift vouchers worth rupees 100 will also be awarded to 100 lucky candidates who are able to solve at least one question. This contest will be held on 28 January and registration link for the same is provided in the description below. So, what are you waiting for? Go register yourself now. In Python, sequence is the ordered collection of similar or different data types. So, sequences allows to store multiple values in an organized and efficient fashion. We have three different sequence types in Python. string list and tuple so let's see what is string string is collection of one or more characters put in single quote double quote or triple quote so in python there is no character data type a character is a string of length 1 and it is represented by str class 
For example, you can see here we have written ISA visit in double quotes. So in quotes, whatever is written, it represents a string. Coming to list. Now lists are just like arrays declared in other languages, which is ordered collection of data. It is very flexible as the items in a list do not need to be of the same type. So here we can see in the example, in the list we have two strings and one integer. Ritika and visit are strings and 14 is an integer. Coming to tuple. Now just like list, tuple is also an ordered collection of python objects. The only difference between tuple and list is tuples are immutable. That is tuples cannot be modified after it is created and it is represented by tuple class. So example we can see isa visit So dictionary in python it is an unordered collection of data values used to store data values like map which unlike other data types that hold only single value as an element dictionary holds key value pair now key value is provided in the dictionary to make it more optimized each key value pair in dictionary is separated by colon whereas each key is separated by comma so in Python, a dictionary can be created by placing sequence of elements within curly braces separated by comma. So here you can see example of dictionary in curly braces. We have name, colon, ritika, comma, one, colon, and a list of one, two, three, four. So Python Boolean type is one of the built-in data types provided by Python which represents one of the two values that is true or false. So generally it is used to represent the truth values of the expressions. For example 1 is equal to 0 is true whereas 2 is less than 1 is false. Set in Python, set is an unordered collection of data type that is iterable, mutable and has no duplicate elements. So the order of elements in set is undefined though it may consist of various elements. So set with the use of mixed values, we can see here the example, we have all different values. We have integers, then we have strings, so it uh, set is combination of all the data types now we will see what is type function in python so it is used to find the data type of a given variable in python the type function returns the type of the specified object now example a is equal to 4 then we'll write print type a then we'll get the output as a is integer so now we will see how to find the data type of a given variable in python using the type function. So I'll write a is equal to 4, then print type a. Then I'll run this code and we'll get the output as the data type int, that is integer. Similarly, we can do this for other data types. So I'll write b is equal to Ritika, then print type b. Again, we'll run this code. See here, we got the data type as string. Now C is equal to 78.9345 print type C. Then again we'll run this code and we have got the data type as float. Now we will see what are Python operators. So operators are used to perform operations on variables and values. So we have four different operators, arithmetic operator, 
assignment operators, comparison operators and logical operators. Now we'll see what are arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators are used with numeric values to perform common mathematical operations. Now we will see arithmetic operations. So I'll write A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. I have just assigned values to the variables. Now I'll write print. the value of 2 plus 3 now we'll run this code and we'll see what happens so see the value of 2 plus 3 is 5 so this plus sign denotes the addition operation similarly we can write print the value of 2 minus 3 is 5. Now again we will run this code and we will see the value of 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we got the output minus 1. So here minus sign represents the subtraction then we can do it for multiplication also print the value of 2 into 3 is now I'll again run this code see the value of 2 into 3 is 6 then print the value of 2 divided by 3 is so once you run the code we get the value of 2 divided by 3 is 0 0.666 so this is how arithmetic operators work now we will see what are assignment operators so now assignment operators are used to assign values to the variables. So we can write A is equal to 34. Then A plus equal to 2. And then we'll print the value of A. Now let's see what is the final value of A. So we got the final value of A as 36. So this plus equal to denotes addition of 2 to the original value which was assigned to variable A. Similarly, we can do it A minus equal to 4. Then we'll write print A. Now we'll again run this code and we got the value. 32. So here minus equal to denotes subtraction of 4 from the original value of variable A. So this is how assignment operators work. Now we will see what are comparison operators. So comparison operators are used to compare two values. So let's say now B is equal to 4 less than 7 then we'll print b now we'll run this code c we got true that is 4 is less than 7 now if we write c is equal to 14 less than 7 print c now i'll run this code See, we got the value false as 14 is not less than 7. So this is how comparison operators work. Now we will see what are logical operators. So logical operators are used to combine the conditional statements. Let's say Boolean 1 
is true and boolean 2 is false now we'll print boolean 1 and boolean will run this code see we got the value as false because and operator and logical operator is working now if we replace this and by or let's see what we get we got true as now or operator has been worked now we can use not operator so we'll get the inverse of boolean 2 that is boolean 2 is false so we got the inverse of boolean 2 as true so this is how logical operators work in python now we will see what is input function in python so the input function allows user input that is we can take input from the user example input enter name now let's see how input function works So I'll write a is equal to input enter your name, and then we'll print the value of a. So now I'll run this code. Now it asks me to enter your name, so I'll write Rutika. and then my name is printed so this is how input function works in python so now we will see what are strings so string is a collection of one or more characters put in single quote double quote or triple quote so in python there is no character data type a character is string of length 1 and it is represented by the str class string is collection of alphabets words or other characters python strings are immutable which means they cannot be changed after they are created so now we will see how to print a string so a is equal to in double quotes we'll write the message then we'll print the variable then i'll run this code see i got my output so this is how we print strings in vs code now we will see what is string slicing so a string in python can be sliced for getting a part of the string so first we have to specify the start index and the end index which is separated by colon to return the part of the string now index in a string starts from 0 to the length that is minus 1 in python so the syntax is start index that is included then the colon then the stop index which is excluded so to get the characters here from position 2 to position 5 we have written print b 2 colon 5 where we'll get the characters from index 2 till index 5 but excluding index 5 so now we will see string slicing so here we already have our message a is equal to i love my india then what we'll do is we'll print a colon 5 and now i'll run this code see i got my output as l o and v as l is our index 2 and v is our index 4 5 is not included hence e is not included So now if we change our indexes from 0 to 2. Now let's see what we get. So see, I just got i. That is 0 index is denotes our i. Then the space here denotes 1 
and then l denotes 2 but 2 is not included hence we got i and the space so now we will see what is negative indexing so here we use negative indexes to start the slice from end of the string that is a here denotes minus 1 then i minus 2 then d here uh, denotes minus 3 then n minus 4 i minus 5 so now print a minus 5 colon minus 2 now let's see what we get i'll run this code see i got i n and d since i here denotes minus 5 so from minus 5 to minus 2 that is still i but 2 is not included that is minus 2 is not included hence we got only i n and t so now we will see few string functions so the first one is the length function so the length function returns the number of items in an object so when the object is a string the length function returns the number of characters in the string. So now we will see how to find the length of this string using the length function. So we'll find the length of this string using length function. So I'll write print length of a. Let's run this code. See. I got my output as 15. So the length of this string I love my India is 15. So now we'll see the second string function that is string ends with. Now the ends with method returns true if the string ends with the specified value. Otherwise it returns false. Now we will see the function string ends with. Now I'll print a dot ends with let's say the and let's see what we get the output. See, we got false because our string does not end with the, it ends with India. Now if I change this to India, let's see what we get. See, now my output is true because our string ends with India. Now we will see the third string function that is the count function. Now the count function returns the number of times a specified value appears in the string. Now we will see how to count the string using the count function. Now I will write print a dot count let's say we'll count i how many times i occurs in our string so see we have three i's in our string one two and three so this is how you count the string using the count function Now we will see our next string function that is capitalize function. Now in python the capitalize method returns a copy of the original string and it converts the first character of the string to capital that is uppercase letter while making all other characters in the string lowercase. So now we will see how capitalize function works. So firstly I will change this capital I to small so that we can see the change. Then print a dot capitalize and I'll run this code. See, I got the output as I love my India where I is capital that is the first letter is capital, first character is capital and all other characters of the string are of lower case. Now we will see our next string function that is the find function. 
So the find function finds the first occurrence of the specified value. It returns minus one if the value is not found. Now we will see how the find function works. So I'll write print a dot find. Uh, let's say I want to find the. So I'll run this code. See, I got minus one because we don't have the in our string, right? Now, if I write my and I'll run this code. So when we run this code, I got seven. So at position seven, I have my. Now we will see what is our next string function that is the replace function. Now it replaces the old word with a new word in the entire string. So now let's see how the replace function works. So I'll write print a dot replace. Now let's say I want to replace India uh, with Mumbai. And I'll run this code. So see, I got my new string as I love my Mumbai. It replaced India with Mumbai. Now let's see what is string concatenation. Now string concatenation means add strings together. So we use the plus symbol or the plus character to add a variable to another variable. So now let's see how to add strings using string concatenation. Now let's say we'll take x is equal to one string that is python and y is equal to another string is awesome. So um, I'll print x plus y. Now I'll run this code. See, I got Python is awesome. Now we don't have space between Python and is, right? So what you'll do is in this y variable, just enter one space before is and now run this code see you got python is awesome so this is how string concatenation is done so today we have seen variables data types in python then type function input function and different operators in python we have seen what is string then string slicing different functions of string and string concatenation now we have attached an assignment in the description so try to solve it and if you have any doubts do let us know in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next tutorial of python. For more such interesting videos subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.